We're going to show you a very quick and easy way to edit and work with HLG footage in DaVinci Resolve. This is especially useful if you're shooting with the Osmo Pocket 3, any of the pocket cameras, their drones. There's this color profile HLG, and that is basically an HDR color profile format, as opposed to SDR, which is what most cameras shoot. Now I'm gonna be the first to admit, in the 15 plus years that I've been shooting and color grading, I've mostly worked in Rec. 709, SDR footage, this is new to me because I've been shooting with the Osmo Pocket 3 since it first came out. I got my hands on it and I've been shooting my talking head content for my YouTube channel in the normal color profile because it's easy to work with. But once I got interested in shooting HDR content for social media, especially when you can flip this screen vertical and have that framing, I decided to take a look at it and see what was the easiest way to process this footage. The way that I'm doing it is not the only way. This is strictly HLG footage from this Osmo Pocket 3 in DaVinci Resolve and then out put in HDR so that you can put it on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts. The first step is going to take place in the project setting. Go into the color management tab. Under color science, select the drop down DaVinci YRGB color managed processing mode to HDR and the output color space to HDR HLG. Make sure that the 100 nits box is selected. Then under that, I'm going to select anything that has the word HDR attached to it. Dolby Vision, enable HDR 10 plus, enable HDR Vivid. If you're doing this in the vertical format, you also can set that parameter in your project settings. So what I typically do is go up to the right hand corner where the three dots are. I want this as a preset. So when I am doing a reel for social media, I can just select that preset, save it, call it whatever you want. That way the settings are already there. You do it once and it's saved for you. The next step is gonna take place in the color page. This is where it gets a little tricky because you have to have an HDR monitor to properly monitor what your color grading. Just download the DaVinci Remote Monitor app. Any changes that I make in the color grade. So if you take a look at that image, yes, I know I'm recording my screen. It's kind of washed out. Yes, the color grade is on because if we come down here, you can see the grade that I'm applying. It'll also work on your phone and that gives you the option to do some proper color grading and to have that other monitor for playback. Another option is using an HDR monitor so that you can actually use your eyes to look at the footage and see how it looks. Since a lot of the shorts and reels that I'm doing are under 30 seconds long, my cheat is I'll output the file, play it back on my phone or on my tablet. It usually looks good. The last step is going to involve the deliver page. What's worked for me is under format, I'll select MP4, codec H265 on the deliver page. Wherever you see HDR 10 meta metadata, so there's embed, and then there's another one that's embed HDR 10 vivid, select all of those. Make sure that your encoding profile is set to main 10. There's a time and place for HDR video. It can look really great. It can look really unique. It's a really interesting format to shoot in. I'm always up for learning something new and I just figured I would share that with you. So this is just straight HLG processing. When I first did a review of this camera, talking about the different color profiles, I was not a fan of HLG, but then again, I didn't have the proper monitor to use it and use the benefits of it and enjoy it. By the way, I'm shooting this in HLG, and so hopefully it looks good if you're watching on an HDR monitor. Uh, if you're not, hopefully it looks good too. If not, let me know, but you know, be nice. Come on, we're trying here, come on. So this isn't my first rodeo, but well, with HLG, it kind of is. So if you're interested in learning more about the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, I have a playlist with plenty of videos on that. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Please subscribe if you don't already. It means a lot to me. Peace.